Gout is an inflammatory response to an increased amount of uric acid in the blood. Insoluble uric acid crystals form and deposit themselves in connective tissue. Crystals in the synovial fluid cause joints to become red, swollen, and extremely painful. This is also called gouty arthritis. Gouty arthritis can last for hours to days, and it may come and go. Chronic hyperuricemia can cause crystals to be deposited in the subcutaneous tissue, called tophi. Tophi are small, white nodules that you can see through the skin, or are larger bumps that cause disfigurement. Patients can also get crystal formations in the kidneys, which cause renal stones. These may eventually cause renal failure. Treatment for flare-ups of gouty arthritis consists of ice therapy and NSAIDs or other anti-inflammatory drugs. The main medication used to control chronic gout is allopurinol, which inhibits uric acid formation. It also prevents TOFI and promotes regression of the tophaceous growths. There are other medications that can be prescribed along with allopurinol. Some break down uric acid deposits or increase uric acid excretion. Nutrition plays a large role in uric acid formation. Teaching patients to avoid foods high in purine, such as organ meats or shellfish, and also staying away from alcohol and fad starvation diets will help decrease gouty arthritis attacks. Increasing fluid intake will help prevent urate renal stone formation. Systemic lupus erythematosus is an autoimmune disorder causing multi-system inflammation of the connective tissues. Antibodies, which normally would attack foreign substances such as bacteria and viruses, start attacking the body's own DNA. Immune complexes form, causing systemic inflammation and damage. Inflammation affects joints, blood vessels, and organs. The patient may exhibit symptoms including a butterfly rash over their nose and cheeks, fever, weight loss, extreme fatigue, anemia, photosensitivity, nose and mouth ulcers, alopecia, anxiety, depression, and organ damage leading to failure. Diagnosis is tough. The patient has to meet certain criteria set up by the American College of Rheumatology in order to be diagnosed. The criteria is based on signs and symptoms. There is no cure for lupus. Treatment involves treating the signs and symptoms. Topical cortisone is given for rashes. If a person has a severe acute attack involving kidneys, blood vessels, and the central nervous system, patients are treated aggressively with high-dose corticosteroids and possibly immunosuppressive drugs. It is important for these patients to get their rest and understand that their bodies really need it. Pain from inflammation and organ damage may need to be addressed through medicine and other therapeutic techniques unique to each patient. Because of the rashes involved in lupus, patients may struggle with body image. Education on being sun smart is important. Avoiding the sun or applying sunscreen will decrease the incidences of sun rashes. Because lupus attacks may come at random, it's important for patients to be educated and know when to go to the hospital to avoid certain severe consequences, such as permanent organ damage. Building a support system and staying educated on treatments and therapies will help those with lupus live as quality lives as possible.